Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video. And today I am in the third party app known as Leechy. And we're just going to show you guys how to simply um, execute and uh, basically set up and execute the RTH or return to home feature here in the Leechy app. So first things first, before you take off, you want to make sure that if you look at the very upper uh, center portion, you'll see the green bar with GPS. That means that our coordinates are good. And then if you'll look right here, see the little green H by the little red looking paper airplane, which is my drone. That means that there is a home point and that the home point has been stored. So if you see that home point and you see the green GPS, your home point is uh, set and you're good to go and take off. But before we do, let's look at a couple things. Up in the upper right corner, you want to uh, click the sprocket icon. And then I have my units on Imperial because I live in the United States. We're imperialist. Uh, we like feet, not meters like the rest of the world. We're stubborn. And uh, so we have to do everything. Uh, we have to just be different than everybody, I guess. But anyways, um, let's see. Why we are in the settings real quick is right there where it says aircraft, the aircraft heading, you'll see our go home altitude. And I have mine in 60 meters, which I believe if I do the math right, that's just a little under under 200 feet. I just know that where I'm at here in the United States and Southwest Oklahoma, I know that's plenty high enough uh, where I'm flying that if I'm 200 feet on return to home, that I'm not gonna hit any man-made or naturally made structures. And um, then on my maximum altitude, that has nothing to do with RTH. That's just the uh, basically 398 feet, keeping it under the 400 foot um, cap space for the FAA here in the United States. And then, so if you look here, if you'll scroll down, it says signal loss behavior for manual flying, return to home. So basically in other words, if I'm flying this inside Leechy and I lose my signal, I want the drone to return to home. So, and then you want the smart return to home on because that's basically with your battery life if you fly far enough away and you're almost out of battery that's what you're going to want this to be on to ensure that your drone knows you have just enough battery to make it home um so basically as far as return to home those are the settings that are important so without any further ado let's get the drone into the air fly it off a little bit and then i'll show you guys how to return it to home so if you look at the left those four icons the very bottom one You'll see the little green circle with the white arrows. You'll click that and that'll take your drone off. And first of all, I should show you guys, my drone just took off right there from that home pad, right in the middle. And there it is. So we can see how accurate the return to home feature works. So what we're gonna do is if you'll look down in the lower left, you'll notice I'm only at 107 feet in altitude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly it, um, fly it off in the distance a little ways. And again, we're just a little over 100 feet and I'm gonna fly it, you know, a decent amount um, of a way away, probably right at about a thousand feet, maybe a little bit further, just to show you guys how well this feature works. Let's go just a little bit further. Let's get over this field here. Okay, so we're over this field. So we're about, uh, about 17, 18, uh, 100 feet away. And so now there's two ways that you can execute this return to home. It actually does work with the Mavic Pro controller and I'm assuming it'd work on the DJI Phantom controllers. If there's a return to home button, you can hold it down until it starts returning to home. Or if you will look at the, at the far left, those four icons again, there's a green circle that says H. We're gonna tap on it and you can it says land or go home. Now understand if you hit land, it's just gonna drop down and land right where it's at. We obviously don't want that. We want it to go home. So make sure you click go home. And then look in the lower left corner guys, what you're going to realize and see is is that it's going to raise to that to that 60 meters, which here in the United States, again, we use feet, we're imperialists. So it's gonna go to just under 200 foot, feet, like I said. So it, obviously 60 meters is about 195 feet. So as you can see, now we can toggle by tapping in the lower right. It's, it's, going, it's going in a straight line and it's coming right back to us. So it's going to be interesting to see how close 
the drone actually comes to landing right there in the middle of this launch pad. So as you can see, the drone's about 500 feet away now. And I'm not touching anything on the controller and we're going to see how close it gets to actually landing. Okay, so I see the drone. It's fixing to come right over my head. I'm gonna switch modes here and angle the camera down, obviously. So we'll see how close you can see the uh, pad here that I'm pointing at. We'll see how close it gets to that home point that it stored here within, here, here within Leechy. Now a DJI Go 4, it has like precision landing and all that good stuff where it, the drone actually takes pictures underneath so it has precision pinpoint landing. And so we're gonna see how close Leechy gets here. Okay, so the drone is coming down. It looks like it is going to be right on target, right on spot. Again, guys, I have not touched the controls. Look at that, that is beautiful. Landed right where we wanted it to. So. Anyways guys, I just wanted to do a real quick video of the RTH or return to home feature here inside the Lychee app. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I'll continue to have more DJI Mavic Pro videos upcoming in the future. As always, this is Dylan. I enjoyed it.